Welcome back to Star Trek Online, everybody. I am your host, the House Code Gamer. Today, we're going to meet Seven of Nine and to deal with the Vodwar and the idiot Voth. Roll the intro, please. We've received a distress call from the USS Callisto, which was on a research mission in a little explored area of the Delta Quadrant. We're not sure what happened to the Callisto, but we need someone to check it out. There are a lot of people on the Callisto, good Starfleet officers and researchers. Bring them home. This is Seven of Nine, part of the Federation research team assigned to the USS Callisto. My team and I were investigating this outpost when the defense systems activated and destroyed the ship. I am aware of your service record. Thank you for responding to our request for assistance. I was able to deactivate the outpost's defenses, but the system sent out an automated distress signal upon shutdown. It is logical to assume that someone will be arriving to investigate. Please transport my team and me to your ship. I will be of more assistance to you. Long-range sensors are picking up inbound energy signatures. Voth ships. They must lay claim to this system. Attention trespassing endotherms. You are trespassing in Voth-aligned space. Surrender now, and we will allow you to live out the remainder of your lives on a prison world. in the park facility and will be ownership over the underspace, which are corridors through subspace that significantly shorten travel times here in the Delta Quadrant. Command has been attempting to contact them without success. Access to the underspace would be a distinct advantage for our fleets. That is one possibility. To my knowledge, the Voth and Terray are not enemies. However, there is still much we do not know about the Delta Quadrant.
have arrived in the Teray system. The Voth ships are in combat, but they are not engaging Teray vessels. Their opposition does not conform to any known ship in the database. The Voth and whomever they are fighting are speaking on an open channel. We can listen to their communications. Your defense of the Tere thieves will be your undoing. The Tere and Voth have a long-standing allegiance. The Tere's exothermic nature makes them superior to the other feeble races of the Quadrant. Then you will be loyal to the death. The surface of the Terray homeworld is being devastated by the debris from the Voth vessels. The Terray do have a defense network of satellites and shields that is capable of protecting them, but the control network is offline. This was intentional. Their attackers deliberately targeted the area during the initial assault. There is a... The invaders attacked this facility, but they did not do significant structural damage. They were, however, able to take down the control network controlling the orbital defense grid. That defense grid is the only thing capable of stopping all of the debris from the battle in orbit from raining down on the planet. Small pieces will burn up in the atmosphere, and your ship's weapons can deal with some others, but a significant percentage will get through. Until that grid is operational, there will be widespread devastation. There was a firefight here. One of the Terray is injured, but his condition is stable. He may be able to give us more information about the invaders. Thank you. My name is Bellus. You're from Starfleet, right? The ships emerged from the underspace, and they were too close for our defense grid to stop the launch of drop pods. In minutes, they had knocked out the grid controls and we were defenseless. We barely had time to transmit a distress signal. The attackers were Vodwar! Voyager did indeed interact with one of our corridors, but instead of deleting the info as we requested and going on their way, they revived our greatest enemy! All of this destruction, every death in- Impossible. It cannot be the Vodwar. I... I would know. My analysis remains unchanged. We need to restore functionality to the defense grid. There are four nodes located on the edge of this complex. We must restart these nodes and realign them to the central tower to re-establish the grid. I'll go to the central tower and start the initialization sequence. I blame myself for the Vadra's return. It was a door best left unopened.
No further hostile beams detected. Complete these steps in the correct order to initialize and align the node. First, you must neck fire. No further hostile beams. Uplink established. We had to ally ourselves with the Terray to escape the Vaudoir. No further hostile beams detected. My analysis of this note first. Next, fi No further hostile beams detected. Connection re-established. When Admiral Tuvok asked me to leave my post at the Daystrom Institute to assist the Callisto, thought the probability of seeing Vaudois was statistically insignificant. No further hostile Whatever happens detected. here, we must inform our superiors about the Vaudoir threat. I have completed my analysis. Complete the following steps in the correct order. First, you must next find... Uplink the engine.
No further hostile beams detected. Analysis complete. First, next, final. Defense node online. No further hostile beings to take. Starfleet, I need assistance at the central tower. When we first rescued the Vaudoir, we thought we could be allies. No further hostile beams detected. Your team did an excellent job getting the defense nodes back online and realigned to the central hub here. The restart process will take some time, but the defense grid will be active in about two minutes. We'd be in good shape if the Vardwar hadn't launched more assault pods. The, the Tourette took control of Underspace after the Vardwar were defeated. Clearly, the Vardwar object. Vaudoir reinforcements approaching. No further hostile beams different. Vodwar are relentless. The probability of our survival is slim. Godwar are tenacious fighters. We must be more so.
No further hostile beams detected. Both reinforcements have entered orbit. These Fadwa do not want to do battle with an obviously superior force. My apologies for that last couple of minutes where I wasn't sitting doing nothing. I actually had to leave the computer for a few minutes. Also, both are stupid, and so are the Terrain. While we did sustain great losses, we have made good on our agreement with the Terrain. Bellas, we have restored your defense grid. I'm not interested in petty squabbling about who did what. The grid is restored and we are safe. That's all that matters. Seven of nine. Admiral? We detected the destruction of the Callisto. What? It was your fault! Your ship invaded the Voth outpost! You woke the Vardwar! Vardwar? Interesting. Starfleet intelligence did not consider them a threat. We believe their numbers were few and their technology outdated. Then you were wrong! The Vardwar have returned, and no one is safe. I see. Seven. Voyager could use your expertise again. Will you return to the ship? That would be acceptable. Very well. We will take the other survivors from the Callisto as well. Thank you. Voyager, two to beam up. Thank you for assisting Seven and lending aid to the Ture. However, the discovery that our old foes, the Vaudoir, have made such a leap in technology and are now threatening the entire Quadrant is troubling. Thank you. Without your help, my team and I may have been killed by the Voth. Now, however, I must turn my attention to the Vaudoir. I am responsible for their return. I must assist in their defeat.
I've read Admiral Janeway's mission logs from Voyager. It would be troublesome enough to have the Vadois return in force. They're an aggressive and difficult species. But if they have technology and forces that can defeat the Voth, this does not bode well. Hello. Housecoat Gaming signing off.